Okay, Balian here. Let's see if we can do a quick uh, tutorial on uh, rendering our shot. Um, essentially, let's get a shot with lights and then export frame by frame. I may have to pause this or actually reduce my, uh, my um, resolution. So I'm just going to escape out of this so you get to see we're going to do something like that, okay? So let me just do a new save here. Save scene as. Let's hope I'm in the right folder. Look so hop. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's just do a demo here. Blocking. Okay. Demo. All right. So here we go. We have a shot. As you can see, I have the lights on, and you're going what lights? And we also have the graph editor. I'm in 2016.5, not 18 or 2017 Maya. It's the most stable one for this classroom. Okay. So a number of things. I'm going to just quickly start over here. I'm going to go to perspective. And what I want to do is I want you guys to set up a camera. Okay, and then we'll start that way, work our way to the, gra um, to the settings here, render settings. And then we'll go to export and we'll go to rendering here. We'll go render with batch render. And then lastly, we'll come into QuickTime and then we'll bring import the, the frames. Okay, so first thing first, let's do, um, actually, no, let's do the camera first. All right, you're going to go to create, cameras, camera. Second thing, there it is right there, right? Don't worry about it. Leave it there. Just go panels, look through, select it. So again, you go to create camera, camera, and then afterwards, after you create it, you just go to look through, select it, which is there. And it's called camera two. This is going to be called uh, shot uh, camera. Let's call it demo. Okay, so well, I can distinguish to one. So once I look through it, I can zoom out normally, see? come around now okay so I can zoom out now one thing I haven't done is I haven't given the size of the shot the resolution per se so at this point let's just come in here into the render setting and I'm gonna get rid of my mental ray okay just for now I'm gonna go to uh, Maya hardware and for some weird reason I'm seeing the uh, see here nerve curves I'm gonna get rid of all my curves and I'm just gonna do a quick shot without even doing anything I hope I'm not gonna see anything let's just go like this show none we're gonna go show and let me just click over here for a second let's show the surfaces and polygons okay there it is we'll leave it at that I'm gonna do it just a quick test shot here second render and see this bugs me because it's Maya hardware and I have no idea why it's showing um, these things so let's just figure out my software for now, reshoot, and boom, there it is. That's good enough for me. Okay, we'll go to Maya software, and let's start from the beginning. Render settings, guys, right off the bat. Guys, do me a favor and name it, okay? So I'm going to go lamp hop demo. That's mine. You can put your name. And please uh, save it as a JPEG for now, not, you know, anything else at this point, because automatically it starts off with TIFF or Targa. So let's just go to JPEG. So you named it. Most importantly, I'm going to back again, set project. You guys have four or five different classes coming in here. And if you don't come in at the beginning of class and set where your project is, uh, it may not be in the right directory. So Maya projects look so hop images. That's where mine's going. So here is next. So we did a name. We sa saved it as a format, JPEG. And then we said we want a name underscore number. So after this, look what Maya will do. I'll go underscore one all the way to 121, whatever. Okay. So name and extension, not single. Okay. You can't do that. So if you want to render something, you need more than just the name. Next, frame range. We'll go from frame one to, um, actually, I'm, I'm stopping at 97 for now, just four seconds. 97, there it is. So it's four seconds of animation at 24 frames per second. Next, renderable camera. Camera one, nope. Demo camera, demo. And let's find out the size of this, HD 720. And I'm just going to go to 540 right now because I want this to really give me a quick, uh, actually, that'll be pretty fast already. So I'll just leave it at 720. You guys can do 720. Because I'm using Maya software, this isn't going to take long. It's going to blitz. Uh, it's going to it's going to go through it quickly. Okay, this Maya is software. Is okay, thank you. Highest quality. Okay, intermediate quality. Uh, let's just go. Where's my production? Hey, there it is. So quality, I want production, highest quality. Okay, close. Let's just take a shot right now, and see what that looks like. 
and let's see boom super fast look at that 0 0.02 seconds for a frame loving that okay so let's figure out let's put our safe frames on boom and the uh, the mask and I have a sip of my coffee here pardon me all right so here's my shot let's see where the beginning is somewhere over here one and then I hop over to the ball and I'm gonna end up doing a backflip um, press down Put some weight over the ball and take off. So for now, the establishing shot is this. So maybe I'll come down a bit here, something like that. And I'm just setting this up. One, two. That's my shot, okay? And what I'm going to do, because this is camera demo. Here's this is a great idea, guys. Alex William taught me this. You right-click and you lock. Lock selected. So now I can't zoom in and out. That's really cool. So that's my shot. Isn't that nice? Yeah, let's get out of selecting polygons. Okay, so here it is. So I've got it set up. I can maximize my view by pressing space bar. So there's my shot beginning to end. One, boom. Okay, so let's just do that now. We've got that, and we're going to go from modeling, animation, wherever you are, you're going to go to rendering. And this one's pretty straightforward. You're just going to go render, and I'm really hoping this is recording. Is it recording? Yes, 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 good. Render, batch render. Don't even press the option box right now. It's not going to make a difference. Then I want you to watch down here. Look how fast it's going gonna, it's gonna to just go through the whole rendering. So batch render. Oh, yeah. And see here, it's going to start, and it's going to tell you what it's doing at some point, I would think. There you go. Rendering frame one. Boom. Look at this. Frame two, and so on and so on. So I'm just going to pause for a minute, and then um, we'll come. I'll come back when this is done, and I'll show you how to put it together uh, with using QuickTime Pro. Okay? Thank you. Pause. Okay, so we're back. It says here rendering completed. See console for more information. All right, so I'm just going to come over here just so you guys know again. The fourth clapper is your render settings. When in doubt, you go to common and say, where's my path? My path is documents, Maya projects, look so hop images. Okay, that's where it is. So what I'll do now, start QuickTime Pro. I mean, file. Not open recent, not open file, open image sequence. The best $30 you'll ever invest to put a video together, guaranteed. Whoa, how did it know to come here? Let's see. Looks so hop, sweet. Okay, so anyway, I'll stop getting excited here. I'm just going to go by name. And the demo, look at that. Lop, sorry, lamp hop demo one. And all the way to 97, somewhere down here. So I don't have to click more than one. All you got to do is select the first one in sequential order, not 5, 10, or whatever. Start with the beginning. Press open. And look at this. Is it 24 frames per second, you say? And I say yes. Press OK. And we will see our shot. And then you hopefully you press play and everything works. One hop, second hop. Excellent, excellent. So now you need to save your shot. File, uh, save, and I will call this Balian. That's me. Demo, uh, let's go, no, no, hop, and then underscore demo. Okay, something like that. So there it is. This will be saved, and it's a under 40 meg file, but it's a 720 shot, so it's pretty nice. Like one, two, got my lights, I got this, and then part two will be this, this guy doing a backflip squashing the ball and then pew, take off like Superman or should we say like the Matrix okay we'll leave it at that and I think that's pretty good you guys got this fourth clapper second clapper takes a single frame you can see that and if you want a sequential shot as opposed to just doing a play blast okay so this is a play blast remember I said show don't show your curves when you're doing this in a play blast but when you do a render this should not come up Okay, so let me just do a quick play blast for you guys just for fun as well. I'm going to go play blast option box and then make sure you say from render settings H264. And if you don't see that, sometimes you got to go to photo, crank the quality to 100, come back to H264 and make sure you have save to file here. Okay, and I'm going to make this, uh, let's see, browse. This should be in the right folder. Yeah, looks so hop. Awesome. Let's go hop and then demo. This will be. This one is going to be uh, just my play blast, so that it is completely different. So you see, oh yeah, yeah, come on, really? That's not cool. Hang on a second. What just happened here? I know it, what happened, but oh. <laughs> so we say bye bye to that one. I just got to come back here into the beginning. Press Command S. This rig, um, it's the rig. Who knows where it is? Okay, there it is. It's good enough. So I'm just going to right click again, play blast. It shouldn't be a problem. 
Okay, boom, and there you go. There's a the hop. So all I did was save, rewind it, and then that's good. So you got a so you you have a play blast, and you also have a full on, full resolution, nice rendered shot here that's safe so do this for your ball bounce do this for your uh, lamp hop and do this for the flower sack as well okay guys awesome bally it out this should be a short one right 10 something lovely see you bally it out